In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Smart Notebook Activity Builder to create engaging, interactive activities for your students. The Activity Builder is an add-on that's easy to use built into Smart Notebook that allows you to create matching activities, sorting activities, labeling activities, games, and more. Just all depends on what you want it to do. Uh, here is a quick example of a finished product. So I've got a categor categorizing happening, stars and hearts. The student would come to the board and just simply click and hold and drag the correct item to the correct box. If it's the correct item, you'll see it disappears. If it's incorrect, it will reject it and kick it back. They have to drag it to the correct box. To show you how these are built, I'm going to use that same example but this one has not been built out yet the hearts don't do anything I'm going to come into smart notebook first thing to do is create your content I've created my content on the page already my stars and hearts boxes and put my stars and hearts on the page over on the left hand side I'm going to click on the little add-ons tab it's a little puzzle piece at the very bottom of these tabs when I click on that add-ons tab it's going to bring up some options. There are several different add-ons in here. One of them is called Activity Builder. When I click on Activity Builder, it's going to pop up a box. Right now, it just says zero activities. The first thing I have to do is select what is going to be my container. So here is st my stars container. This box is going to be for my stars. When I click on it, you'll see now I have an edit command on the left. When I click on edit, it's going to ask me what what do I want to do? I want to accept objects and reject objects. So the accept objects are the correct answers. The reject are the incorrect. So in my case it's the stars. So I can simply drag and drop each one of those stars in to the correct answer. And then I can also and then I can drag and drop the incorrect answers into the reject. You want to speed up the process you can select one object, hold down control, which will then allow you to select multiple objects and then I can drag and drop those into the reject items. You do have some additional settings at the very top. If I click on settings it gives me additional options. What do I want to happen when they drag it to the correct box or the incorrect box? You have a few options. I had my example was fade out but you can make it fly off the screen. You can make it spin, a snap to the center of the box just depends on what you need. If you need them to see the correct answers, having it stay on the screen is a good choice. You can also attach a sound so that it will play a sound if it's correct or play a sound if it's incorrect. If it's incorrect, the options are a little limited, it does nothing, or it bounces back. Once you have your objects in the correct place and you've got all the settings you want set, simply click the Done button at the bottom of that pane and continue on. So I've set up the first box and it tells me one object, act, one activity object on page. Now I click on hearts and I repeat the process. So now I'm going to go in here and click on edit. I know the, my hearts are the correct answer so I'm going to simply collect, select all my hearts, drag them into the correct box. You will see there's a button on, my, on both correct and incorrect that says add all remaining. If I click that it will take all my stars and automatically add them. It will add anything on the page that is not locked. My boxes don't go in there because my boxes actually are locked. I can add additional settings if I need to. Simply click done and my activity is now complete and working. So if I drag my heart up, it rejects it or it disappears.